Good morning, Coffee, hail the kale. And also, naughty breakfast. I made some um, low carb cakes yesterday using Dr. Almond's flour mix. I mean, I'm basically just, I've, you know, since giving up smoking, I've probably put on a stone. I'm eating cake for breakfast. What can you do? Every pound Carla loses, I put on a pound. So cheers, Carla. <laughs> Good pick though. I put like hazelnut spread in it, low carb spread. Oh, it's well less. Have a look. Like that's the middle, that's the hazelnutty middle. Mm. I've written my list of stuff to do. So I've got to do post, order taxi, put alternative card payment on the app because. The taxi app is linked to my PayPal account and I've, um, and there's no money in there. And I don't want to take them from my business account because this isn't a business expense. I have got money in my account for this. Check the dispatch times on eBay to make sure that they've changed for this. It's not called holiday mode anymore. It's called time away. And fair play, like, why didn't eBay do that before? So yeah, that's good. I've got to do Tasty's parcel and I've got to put, there's like a few things that I've got to put in the garage and get from the bar garage, like big box and stuff over there. Um, uh, yeah, but obviously, first of all, it's coffee and meds time. So happy breakfast. It's very blowy outside. Very, very blowy. Right, let's do post, shall we? So I was just looking outside then. It always looks slightly calmer out the front than it does out the back. Out the back it's like, oh, it's a gale and it's all thing. And then out the front it's just a road and a garage. Hmm. Anyways, things what I have sold. This is a bag of random odds and sods, vintage action men stuff. It went for £14.99. Um, I bought a load of vintage action men stuff for £2 and it had a brooch in it as well, banging. And um, this is just like boots and ammo things and stuff that individually don't go for that much and I couldn't be bothered to list this lot individually. So I just auctioned it, 14 99 rent for. And, but then this little pair of uh, guns in their holsters, um, they went for 15 pounds and 19 pence. And I've got another at least 10 auctions from that, I think, or 10 listings anyway from that bunch of action figures. Look at this boy stuff. What's happening? Right, boy stuff going out. So we have got The Freak. Spawn the Freak went for $9.99. They're all going to the same person, so I'll have to make sure I refund their postage. I'll put that on. Postage. Refund. Um, Because they paid at like different times of the day, and I could have done them a... Anyway, my um, that one went for eleven ninety nine. That's overkill. And then this is Techno Cyber Spawn Robot. He also went for eleven ninety nine. So that's at twenty four thirty four pounds plus postage. That's okay. <laughs> and then another blokey thing is a leather jacket in there. I won't get it out because I'll never get it back in this bag. I think I bought that for either two or four pounds, like quite a while ago now. And that went for 32 pounds. I think I sent out an offer on that one. It's a nice jacket, it's like green and brown. It's like all like distressed looking. A set of three trays that I got in um, three items for a pound. So this, the three trays cost me 33 cents altogether. So 11 pounds per tray, <laughs> 11 pence per tray. And um, I think I took an offer of £10 on them. So from 33 pence to £10, that's pretty good. And then, is it just jewellery left? Yeah, just jewellery left. So some single cufflinks. They, so there's no pairs in there, they're just all singles. So some of the craft with, I took an offer of three quid on them because, you know, why not if they can think of inventive things to do with them? Good for them, you know, happy days. 
a DKNY silver tone charm bracelet that went for £12. A set of sterling silver Scottish themed charms. So they're quite cute. There's like a little Scottish dancer. There's a thistle. There's another thistle on there that says Dinner Forget. Uh, there's the fourth bridge and then there's the, the little heart with a crown on it and I can never remember what it's called, sorry. But yeah, some sterling silver charms and um, that went for £20. A fossil bracelet. Um, someone said before that like fossil was Vero'd and if I was scared of listing stuff. Um, I've never had a problem with it and fossil is actually on the drop down menu, like as an option for brand. So I don't see how something that is, v I mean, I know it's on the Vero list, I've seen it, I looked, um, but I don't see why um, eBay would have something that's Vero'd, but also have it on a drop down list. I think that's very silly. So I think probably Fossil were on the Vero list and then they just kind of went, ah, we're all right with it actually, you know. A uh, little scarf ring, an enamel scarf ring clip thing, that went for five pounds. Um, a and oh this is the last thing and a little sterling silver just a plain little like rectangular bar on a chain um i think i took an offer of 10 pounds on that one so yeah that's it um shop is currently on or both shops are on holiday mode so i don't think i can take orders on my etsy store but i can still take orders on my ebay store it's just obviously delayment delayment is that a word delayment there is a delayment. Why does that sound weird? It might not be a word. There is a delay in shipping for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, and I've got auto reply on and stuff. And it's very weird. I was like, yesterday, I was like, right, let's get all those listings done. So I did like 50 something listings yesterday. I think it was 55 in the end I did. So I'm like scheduled up until the, the 16th of November and stuff. Um, I'm like, yeah, get all, get all this done. And now I'm like, doo, 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 doo. you know? And it's only 8.35 on Monday morning. Oh, well, at least I've got posts to do it. <laughs> Bored now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've done post. I've ordered my taxi to and from the clinic this afternoon. Um, I put the payment card on it and I told them to charge it to that as well. Um, I haven't done my tasty parcel and that's because there was something that was meant to be delivered today that hasn't been delivered. You'll have to wait for it another day to see if it gets delivered tomorrow because there's something I want to put in it. Um, I've put stuff in the garage, I've done my postage refund and now, oh and also that parcel to Australia has gone because I arranged for Royal Mail Collection. So that's good. It's an extra 72p or something, but it means I never have to leave the house again. It's great. <laughs> um, and now it, it looks like I've got some, some friend mail from Claire Sheen. And oh my word. Oh, that's lovely. We oh, like that. Right, let's, let's open the card. You open the card first, don't you? <gasps> it's got black kitty cats on. That's cute. It's a hand I give to say thank you. Aww. Put your feet up and rest. I'll try. Uh, say hello to your mum and the cats. Okay. Click at one. It's the best. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what this is then. Thank you very much, Chris. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, they're genius. Cockwomble. <laughs> oh my god, they're fab and they pop a rainbow. They're lovely. Oh, I'm going to wear them this week. They're awesome. Oh, thank you so much, Claire. <laughs> they're brilliant look at that and they and there you go that's where they we're from if um if you're in but yeah genius thank you so much that's absolutely awesome <laughs> oh it's currently about 10 to 12 i think 
and I'm just watching Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I'm ready to go. I've got stuff in there and things I need to take with me and I'm wearing some Vivian Westwood vans. Yeah, yeah, look, there's my necklace over there. So um, it's nearly time for me to, well, I'll be taxis coming for quarter past to take me to go and um, get prodded and stuff. So that'll be fun. But at least I get to leave the house. Yay. Right, on with Indiana Jones for a bit. <sighs> Come on, taxi. I'm here. Gotta wait outside for a little bit. Um, and then, looks like put mask on, sanitize and have temperature. Well, it looks like an eye scanner actually. Mm. Oh well, I'll see you on the other side, I guess. Well, that's the spire behind me there. That's the main entrance. Just gonna find my taxi back now. Um, COVID test, not so bad. Blood test, not so bad. got the plaster on my body and I'm having mum squeezing the cat I'm having some coffee and some lunch cheese and then some feta cheese and olives and salami and Atkins crackers and then I might have a bit of a nap I think possibly or at least just a lounge on the sofa Being on holiday mode on eBay is a bit boring, actually. <laughs> hmm. Right, this is the plan for the next couple of hours. Number three in the UK today on Netflix, His House. As a young couple from war in South Sudan seeks asylum at a fresh start in England, they're tormented by a sinister force living in their new home. Now, it sounds like a horror film, and I can only watch horror films in the daytime. Oh, look, it's blue sky. Um, and that's because I have an overactive imagination and I cannot watch horror films at night because I will scare myself like a twat. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try and watch this and uh, let you know how it is. Um, mm -hmm. I'm watching some Black Mirror. This is the Miley Cyrus Nine Inch Nails and she's singing the, um, see the animal in his cage that you built that one um and for tea i'm having chicken sausages never tried them before they're from heck cabbage with like a light onion gravy and um some cauliflower rice nom nom oh and perfect we've got a little bit of ninky nonks and andrea yay showing us oh lovely jugs there well not quite jugs Ooh. goblets but yay ah oh, it's better um, I'm gonna um, close the vlog out here and say goodnight because I'm, I'm drawing a bath. I'm gonna go have a bath in it. The horror film I watched earlier that what was it His House? It's very good. It's not exactly a horror film. I mean, like it is. It's got jump scares in it, but it's not a traditional horror film. It's it's along the lines of, say, like the good Japanese horror films, like the original version of The Grudge and things like that. It's more um, like the horror within yourself kind of thing. But it's good. I enjoyed it. So check that one out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a bath and then I'm probably going to record a little sparkly things video. So, yeah, I'm going to end this here. I haven't done, you know, much eBay stuff today. But, you know, that's because I'm on holiday, damn it. It's not a holiday. Anyways, I will probably see you again soon at some point. Oh, and what, also what I did learn today is, or that I already knew, is that when I'm terribly nervous and stuff or anxious or get very emotional, I don't speak. And so that's why I probably didn't film a lot, like, around the time of the test and stuff today. So if I don't film much for the rest of the week, that's probably why. 
Anyways, I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.